first of all, we, uh, we spoke about what she needs, what she really needs. And there were two things. First of all, she needs to learn more English. And then that she learns to go out to the community and learn things which she loves to learn. Mm. And so she started to learn to bake with mm. a real baker. And it was fortunately a paleo baker because we don't eat sugar and dairy products. Mm. And so, and Laura was so, so happy about it. Yeah. Uh, oh. I started to carry some muffins. Mm. And mm. what else? Um, there was a cake, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it was a flavor, Kelly's banana cake, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mix it, kind of. Yeah, and did you eat it? Yeah. And was it good? Was it delicious? Um, many marvelous. Oh, the most important was that Laura is now volunteering at a kindergarten. Oh, fantastic. And this was the biggest step for her to really to mix mm. with normal people. Mm. And she is loving it. Yeah. When she comes out, she is so happy. The, the over, overall thing which, which really Cindy brought in our life, that I don't feel alone mm. anymore. Before, I had always promises, we will do this for Laura, we will do this and this and this and this. And now, things really happen. When we go out and about now, she's happier to talk to people. Mm -hmm. So she'll self-advocate, she'll go up to the live library desk and say when is the next knitting group or what she didn't like but or when's the next colouring in group and things like that so she'll talk for herself more and I find that I feel that Nina's a lot more relaxed too mm. she doesn't feel all the pressure all the time mm. Absolutely. and I think I think as a family you two are closer there's less and less of Fletcher. you being a caregiver more you being a mum now mm. Laura's learning to be independent and be her own person too. Mm.